Today, we're gonna to do an advanced tool builder tutorial. We're gonna build a tool that can enhance conversions on your Shopify or e-commerce store by taking down your product metadata, enhancing the descriptions and titles, and then re-uploading that straight back into your Shopify store. Let's dive into it. So what are we actually building in this tutorial? We're gonna build an AI tool that can take all of your product descriptions and titles, enhance them, and make them better for SEO. I'm gonna start by laying down some context. I've created a very new, exciting e-commerce store called Stitched Up. It's a t-shirt store built on Spotify. And as I say here, you know, it's not just a shirt, it's a lifestyle. It's really just t-shirts. This is a bunch of t-shirts. When you dive into the products, I mean, basketball t-shirt, eagle graphic t-shirt, hippie white graphic t-shirt. These are very poorly written titles. And if you jump into the description, they're even worse. This is a white graphic t-shirt. I get the idea. So we're going to build a tool that helps enhance this so that I can live up to the promise that these are not just a shirt. And that flow is going to look a bit like this. So it's going to start, as I've just shown you, with a Shopify store that's full of products with these unoptimized, non-engaging titles and descriptions. We're going to make an API call to Shopify to pull in the metadata for all of the products in my store. And then we're going to pass in specifically the image URLs to a tool that will have an LLM vision model. And that vision model is going to pump out a really literal but really detailed description of the product. We can then take that description and pass it to some other LLM models that are better for writing. And they can help us create these more engaging product titles and descriptions. Finally, we take all of those updates and we hit the API for Shopify once more to actually upload them back into the platform. And we have a brand spanking new stitched up store. Does that sound good? Awesome. Well, I just want to quickly touch on the concepts we'll cover in this tutorial for Relevance AI. And a lot of them you haven't seen before. So we're gonna use API requests. I'm gonna show you how to authorize them. But more excitingly, we're gonna do LLM vision model calling in our tool builder. We're gonna do for each looping so we can run over every item that comes from our store. And then finally, we're gonna show you how to run tools from another tool because of the way we've architected this solution. And I think that means it's time to dive into setting up the tools. So as part of this tutorial, we're gonna build four different tools. Now, one is a mega tool. This is just a tool that strings together the other tools to handle the actual automation. But really, all of the fun stuff is in these three other tools. So we have one that pulls products from Shopify's API. We have one that updates the products when we've enhanced them back into Shopify's API. And then we have that enhanced product metadata with LLM's tool that does all of the magic with LLM vision to generate us better product titles and descriptions. Let's start by having a look at pulling the products from the Shopify API. If we jump into that tool, you'll see that it comprises of an API step and a JavaScript code step. In the API step, getting an endpoint that's provided to you by the Shopify documentation. Now, specifically the start of this URL is very specific to my store here. This is my ID of my Shopify account. You will have a different ID here. So make sure to go get the URL for your Shopify account. And then the other thing you'll have to do is to authorize this API request, the docs for Shopify tell us we have to pass in this X Shopify access token. So you can go into your admin dashboard in Shopify and get your access token and you could plug it here as the value, but that is strongly not advised. When we're working with API keys, access tokens, we wanna to use a relevance feature called custom API keys or secrets. And you can see here, rather than plug in a specific value for my access token, I'm referencing this secrets.chains Shopify access token key. How do you set one of those up? You wanna jump over to the integrations page in our main dashboard. Now you'll see all of our pre-built integrations. These are integrations that you can authorize just with buttons, but also we have the ability to add API keys. So we have a lot of pre-built API keys, Anthropic, Azure, Browserless, the list goes on. But at the very bottom, you'll have the ability to add your own custom API keys. And you'll see here, I've added a Chains Shopify access token API key. That's the token, you won't be able to see it. No one will be able to see it and I'll be able to access it in any tool I have by using secrets and then the name of that custom API key. So again, this comes from here. So now when we run this tool in Relevance's backend, we'll plug in your secret access token. It won't be accessible in network requests or anything like that, so you'll be much more secure. Whenever you're working with API keys or access tokens, remember to use our secrets feature. Now this is a very simple API request. I don't have to pass in a body or any URL params. We'll run it, 
And look, it gives me this array of products. So you can see all the ones from my store. So if I look at the store again, and we go back to the list of products, Angel Graphic T-shirt, Basketball T-shirt. Now, if we go back to the API request, Angel Graphic T-shirt, Basketball T-shirt, Boston Celtics T-shirt, the list goes on. So cool, I've accessed all of the metadata for my products. Now, I only really need specific parts of it. I need the ID to update the product once I've made my changes. This is the identifier for what this product is. And then I need the image that I can pass to the LLM vision model. And I'll see that the image is accessible here in this image key under the source or the SRC key here. So ID and then image.src gets me the image URL. Let me copy this URL and you'll see that that's what it looks like. Fantastic. So in the second step of this tool, I've created a simple JavaScript code step that's gonna loop over that array of products and just return the things that I need. You'll see here, I'm accessing API, which is this key here. I'm accessing response body. So if I scroll up, response body is the key of the output that has this array. But actually you'll notice it's not an array, it's an object with a products key and that's where the array is. So you'll notice response body dot products that finally gives me the array that I want to map over with JavaScript. And you'll see I'm returning only two things, the image, which is at P, the item in the array, dot image, dot SRC, and then the ID, which is this dot ID. I'll run that step and it will return me a much cleaner array with just the two things that I need to get down to business. There it is. And if I take that out of formatted mode, you can see the raw array here. Fantastic, just the images, just the IDs. Great, so that's, Step one, knocked out of the park. We're pulling in all of the metadata for my products from the API. Now let's dive into actually enhancing them and making them SEO optimized and way more interesting. And we'll do that in our enhanced product metadata with LLMs tool. So this tool receives two user inputs. First of all, it receives the URL of the image of the product, and then it receives the product ID. And these are accessible at this image URL key and the product ID key. We start with the LLM vision step. Starting to get fun here. I've passed in the image URL variable into the first item of this list of images that you can pass the model. So again, image URL comes from the variable name for this input. It's plugging it into this list of images that we're giving to the LLM vision model. And then I'm prompting the LLM model, describing in great detail the shirt you are seeing and what it looks like. So this helps us get a really detailed description of the image based on vision. Let's test this out. I'll go back to this list of images here and let's just pick a random one. Maybe I'll pick this one here and I'll plug that into the URL. I'll just grab its ID as well. Plug that into the ID. Now the ID is not really used anywhere. We just return it again at the end so that we're constantly co-locating the ID of the product and the metadata so that it's easier to update via the API at the end. So I'll show you how that all works. But the main thing coming in here is that URL for an image. So let's have a look at what this image looks like. I'll grab this. Okay, so it's like a trippy sun thing, third eye thing here. It says Wrangler. It's a white t-shirt. I think we looked at this one. I think it was just called white t-shirt, graphic white t-shirt before. So let's jump back in and see what our LLM can do. So we'll run this step. And there you go. We get this really detailed description of the image that, to be honest, no one like myself was going to ever write up. The shirt and image has an eye-catching graphic design on the back. The design features an abstract illustration that resembles a sun or eye at the center with wavy, tentacle-like shapes radiating outwards in shades of blue, green, yellow, and purple. It gives a psychedelic style, a retro 60s or 70s vibe. It's noted that it has Wrangler, Wrangler denim style. The shirt itself appears to be off-white or cream color. So you can see it's even more descriptive than we were when we called this a white graphic t-shirt. Very cool. So we have this description now of the image, and then we're going to pass it into an LLM step. This is our first step that's going to generate a better title. So we've given it a role. You're an e-commerce SEO expert. So I'll just toggle Markdown. You can see we write this in Markdown with two hashtags, just structuring our prompt for the LLM. And then... Description of a t-shirt is where we plug in that description that the vision model has generated. You can see here, llmvision.answer comes from LLM vision and then the answer key. And then finally, we give it a task to generate a trendy, concise SEO optimized title. So let's see how it goes. Note here, we're using OpenAI and GPT-40 because I like that for generating text. It's fast, cheap, and very good. 
So here, it's called a Vintage 70s Psychedelic Wrangler Graphic Tee Retro Sunburst Design. Far more descriptive than what I would be bothered to write. Brings in some personality, brings in a bunch of keywords for SEO optimization. Fantastic. Let's dive into the second step, which generates a description. So it looks quite similar, same role. Again, we plug in the description from the vision model. And then here we tell it, generate an exciting, optimized description, come up with a backstory and a narrative, write a readable, detailed description. And then also I've noted here to make sure that we format it in HTML. This is because in Shopify's documentation, I noted that the descriptions are stored with HTML. So let's run this step and see how it goes. Awesome. So it's giving me, wow, bit of narrative here. Step back in time with our vintage inspired Wrangler t-shirt. A true homage to the iconic stars of the 1960s, radiating outward a wavy tentacle-like spheres. Again, it's brought a lot of personality to this description. It's packed it with keywords. But really, this is a prompt engineering exercise. If you want this to be different, the world is your oyster. We've actually come up with quite a basic prompt here. You can add more details about formatting, personality, structure. You can tell it to write 20 paragraphs with subheadings or just a one sentence description if you want. The same goes for titles. This is where you can have a lot of fun with prompt engineering. And so finally, I wrap all of this in a simple JavaScript code step to just define what I'm returning from this tool, the image, URL, and ID to continue to co-locate these things. And now I'm passing in the new title, which comes from enhanced title.answer. So again, we go up to the step enhanced title and then the answer key. And then of course the description comes from enhanced description dot answer. Just plugging that all in, wrapping it up in a single object, which will make it easier to upload back to the API later. One other thing to note about this tool is that I've defined a custom manual output here. I just wanna return the result of this JavaScript code step at a label called enhanced. The final step in this chain is to add this back to the API and we'll do that in this update products via Shopify API tool. This takes in the new fancy title, the new description and the ID, and then we make an API request. I've gotten this URL from the Shopify API documentation where it tells me to hit this endpoint, but plug in my ID for the product I want to update at this part of the URL. So you can see here in our tool builder, you can inject these variables, things like user inputs in between other parts of text. So here I've taken product ID, which comes from this input here to the tool and put it into the middle of this URL. And then we have to update this product with a JSON object that contains a product key. Again, you have to put in the ID, the updated title, and then you'll notice in Shopify's API, you store the description at a key called body HTML. So that's where I've passed in the product description key. We use this curly bracket syntax and then the name of the variable for each user input. It's action time. Let's talk about the mega tool. The mega tool strings all of those steps that I just showed you together, looping over every product in your store. So when we jump into the tool, you will notice it has three steps and they're all called run your tool. So run your tool is a step that you have access to in your tool builder where you can run another one of the tools that you own. So we're gonna run three tools here. First of all, the tool that pulls the products from Shopify. Then we're gonna run the tool that enhances each product's metadata with the LLMs. And then of course, finally, we're gonna run the tool we just looked at that updates the products. We can run this first one because it's quite straightforward. And there we go. We get our list of products mapped to just image and ID exactly how we want them as we saw in that first tool step. And now this is where we start to get a little tricky. And now we're looking at the second tool that we're running, which is the one that enhances each product's metadata using the LLM. And you'll notice that we have this new input at the top called run this transformation multiple times. Transformation is another word we use for tool step in the platform. How do we get this input? Well, you click on the three dots in the top right of your tool step and there will be an enable for each button. Now we've already enabled it, that's why it says disable, but when you enable it, you'll get this input. And into this input, you wanna put a list of items that you wanna loop over. So you wanna run this tool step for every item in that list. And we've specified that that list exists at this variable, get products, which is the previous step we ran, dot output, so if you scroll to the top, dot output, and then dot product metadata, which is this array. So this array is gonna be the list that we iterate over. Our tool, the enhanced metadata tool, 
is going to run for every item in this array. So if you imagine this list of products where at item one, it has its own image URL and ID. At item two, it will have a different image URL and ID. How do we plug that into the tool each time? But you want to access it via the for each key that will become available when you enable this loop at the top item. And then now you have access to the specific array item. So we can look at here, we see it has an image and an ID. So for every item in the loop, we're going to plug in the image into the image URL input and the ID into the product ID input. So a little complex, hopefully that made sense. Let's run it and see what happens. Awesome, we got our results. Now, before we have a look, and I know that's the exciting part, so I'm being a bit of a tease here, but I just wanna note one thing. To use the LM vision step like we showed earlier, you're gonna to need to plug in your API key into this Anthropic API key field over in our integrations page. Now, your API key will have a rate limit. It will have a maximum amount of times it can be called every minute based on whatever plan you have with Anthropic. So if you're smashing this tool on like hundreds of products at once, you're probably gonna hit that rate limit. If you need to run this tool on a smaller batch of products at a time, bear that in mind. But anyway, here we go. We've got our results, you can see. It's run on all of our products here. You can see them listed out. We've got this first one, Vintage, and jelly, Common, Graphic Tee. Exciting, let's pick another random one. Edgy, Oversized, Gray T-shirt. Cool, the tool worked. So there's only one more step now as part of this mega tool, which is to upload all of them back into the Shopify store. Again, we're looping over the enhance.results step up here. So again, enhance.results and plugging in the for each item dot output dot enhance dot description into product description. So let's trace that. So the for each item output dot enhanced dot description and then the same for title and id into the title and id inputs so now if i run this it's going to loop through all of these results up here and hit the shopify api and update our store cool it's done you know it worked because we've got these status 200s here it's returned some metadata let's see the proof in the pudding bit of a drum roll we're going to go over to our products catalog over here on shopify you can see all these old boring names i haven't refreshed my page yet let's hit refresh oh look at that we've got these exciting new titles now bad to the bone billy eilish club chills crossing graphic tee retro Retro Beach Vibes t-shirt, the edgy, oversized, gray t-shirt with red and white Asian dragon graphic streetwear collection. Unleash your inner dragon with our oversized gray t-shirt designed for a relaxed, slouchy fit, part of a coordinated collection. Again, you can iterate on your prompt engineering, get this to read how you want it. But just like that, we've saved ourselves hours and hours of time. We've generated way more creative things than I'm sure many of you and definitely my creative juices are capable of. Also, hopefully that was a useful tutorial. You guys can use this with not just Shopify, but other e-commerce platforms that provide an API like your WooCommerce's. Definitely jump into our Discord if you need some help with that. But thanks for watching. I've been Dan. This is Relevance.